Hey YouTube, what's up? We're gonna do instant pot French dip sandwiches tonight. All right, all you guys are gonna need is of course your instant pot. Get a chuck roast. This one is um, a beef chuck roast, about 2.79 pounds. We've got a little salted butter, onion soup mix, beef consomme, au jus gravy. I've got some salt, pepper, and garlic powder or garlic salt, whatever you have there. And just gonna mix together however you like it. I've got one tablespoon of soy sauce and you're gonna need some extra virgin olive oil and some water. Now we're just gonna lay it in there. Just like that. Keep it sauteing it. It is almost like a sear. You want to put a good brown on both sides. You don't want to just throw it in there. We're browning both sides on the saute with just extra virgin olive oil. You're going to see it's going to get nice and brown. You're going to flip and do both sides of that. When this gets done, we're going to go ahead and open our beef consomme. One can. If you like more juice, you can do two. We've got that ready. Got our French onion soup. We're just gonna check this. It may be easier with a big fork. Way easier. Also gonna do the sides around the meat just to brown them. You're just trying to seal all the juices in the meat. During the saute process, take your tablespoon of soy sauce and just add it in. It makes a huge difference on the flavor of the meat. I'm just gonna give this another flip, sealing all those juices. We're good and sauteed there. So we're gonna turn that off, still hot of course, and that gives us time to add in. We'll take the beef consomme first. We're gonna pour it in. We're gonna take our au jus gravy. You can use any kind that you like. With that, I'm gonna take one cup of water. I like to use less fluid because you're gonna have a lot better gravy. I'm just gonna mix that up and around. We're also gonna pour that in there. Right. Now for our French onion mix, I'm gonna use the dry powder, and I'm just gonna do about a quarter of a packet, just enough to add a little flavor. You see we still got quite a bit left in there. You can save that for your next French dip alley. All right, for your instant pot, you're gonna put the lid on. We're gonna turn it here to, we're gonna hit the meat. And we're at one hour. Put this to seal up top. And we're on. Now for the Instapots, when they turn on, of course, it's not on the timer yet because of it's heating up. Once it heats up, it's gonna start your timer. All right, so stay tuned. We're gonna come back and we're gonna see it after one. All right, guys, we're back an hour later. So let's check out the results. Tear it apart. All right, got a little melted butter. Got our meat shredded. Just pull it apart with two forks or some uh, tongs. Just gonna brush, lightly brush a little bit of salted butter onto the bread. And then we're gonna take our meat and we're just gonna put it in on the buns here. All right, try a little cheese. Got them all put together, brush the top of them with just a little bit of butter, 
and we're gonna stick them in the broiler just until the cheese Here's melts. Here's the finished product, guys. Straight out of the oven, just long enough to let the cheese melt. Good side. A little plain ruffled potato chips you can also dip in the au jus. And I'm telling you, when it comes to a good French dip sandwich, you just can't do that. Hey, if you like this uh, video of the French dip, stay tuned for more. Hit subscribe on my, on my channel, that way you can follow some of my videos. If you have a request of a recipe you'd like to see, then add it in the comments. Thanks for watching.